Back home now, St. Ledger champion Calculus showed he's the most improved three-year-old of the classic campaign as he came from behind in a big ride to capture the 101st running of the Jamaica Derby, going over 12 furlongs that came in a spark on Saturday. While one to five favorite, she's a wonder, outclassed the field to land the 82nd running of the Jamaica Oaks, going 10 furlongs. Denise Walters has our racing review. Further and beyond, a second in the anti-post odds at 2-1 to one, was looking to win his first classic race of the season, while the likes of Billy Wiz, who was a stable mate to Yana Lynx, set the early fractions and Big Jewel were hoping to steal a march on the field. And despite further and beyond seeming to get away from the rest of the field, 3-5 to five favorite Calculus pinned against the rail for most of the trip, managed to find a space between horses in a three-way stretch duel under a fast finishing ride from big race jockey Shane Ellis. And beyond that magnificent Dane Nelson who turned for home in the 2021 Jamaica Derby. A quarter of a mile to go. Further and beyond continues to hold that lead. Calculus is over on the rail. Billy is now set alight on the outside. Further and beyond getting the stick in the left hand as they arrive at the furlong pole quickly. Dane snatches it into the right. Here is a Billy Wiz kicking it on the outside. Further and beyond beginning to tie up Billy Wiz. Calculus coming once again. Calculus now points close home and the ledger winner takes the derby. Over Billy Wiz, then further and beyond. Big Jewel is next ahead of Santorini. A first derby victory for trainer Gary Sobrati and a sixth for Ellis. Calculus just got home by a neck in two minutes of 37 and four. Well, I thought he had a really rough trip on the inside. They're bumping him around, especially the first turn, went into the first turn. And the inside of the track is really heavy. So I was really worried because they had him pinned in all the way. Um, came in the straight, uh, further and beyond went on. We came off the rail, got an ease off the rail, and then we came back between the horses, and it was, they were just giving him a hard time through, you know, the tightening up the race. But um, overall, we got the win. I can't do anything, so I had to just change plans and ride the race. That's how it unfolds. Well, I see the gap. I can't go outside. If I go outside, I'm going to lose. If I go inside, I'm going to lose. I have to take the middle. I have to bust my way through the middle. Meanwhile, she's a wonder showed why she's a top local filly as she romped to victory in the Jamaica Oaks for native-bred three-year-old fillies in a well-timed run with apprentice Ray and Lewis aboard. And leaves the 516th about to come into the lane in the Jamaica Oaks and she's a wonder will have to be caught. Sweet Majesty and Action and in a scramble for second and third at the moment. Amy the Butcher is let loose on the outside. She's a wonder. Leaves the 316th with the lead and Ray and Lewis now calls for the stick in the right hand and ask the filly to really go. She won the 1,000 guineas and she's on course here to take the Oaks as they leave the 16th pole. It is a She's a Wonder and Ray and Lewis by three or more. Amy the Butcher, the rest can't land a blow. She's a Wonder. Class of the race wins it over Amy the Butcher, Ian Zalinx, then Action and Sweet Majesty. The Ian Passard conditioned to bear returned two minutes to 13 and three, winning by three lengths. Had a hard campaign, you know, she has been running since the prep races, the Thornburg, the Portmore, the Guineas, the St. Ledger. You know, for a filly to run through that kind of campaign is not easy. Um, 12 furlongs would have been a tougher ask. And so when we weighed everything up and the fact that Big Jewel trained okay for the derby, and we have a lot of common connections there. We decided to split them. And um, I think it turned out to be the right decision. And a ride with the mob captured the 2021 Independence Day Stakes Trophy, going a mile in 1 minute 46 1. Racing continues on Monday. I am Denise Walters reporting from Caymanus Park for TVJ Sports.